Greetings everyone. I personally thank you for showing up. This is your lecturer and your host Bra MBU welcoming you to this exciting and vibrant session on angular motion. Today we'll be discussing and doing examples focusing on angular displacement, angular velocity and angular acceleration. Without wasting any time, let's dive in. Calculate the angular velocity of a car that rounds a curve of radius 10 meters at 60 kilometers an hour. Our data contains of the radius which is 10 meters according to the question and also we have the velocity which is 60 kilometers an hour in our question but we know that we have to change it but before we go there let's continue. We are asked to find angular velocity that is the sign for angular velocity so it will be in rise per second. Let's start. The formula for this one is quite easy because we have a formula that has exactly those data givens. So we have R, we have V, but the only thing we can do is to change that V into meters per second. And that is simply because we have a way of dealing with it. As you can see that 60 divided by 3,6, we always use that 3,6 to change kilometers per hour into meters per second and therefore this will make our substitution to be much easier. We substitute for both of our values so that we may be able to get the answer for our angular velocity. Let me help even those sometimes who forget how to do the manipulation especially when you're about to press your calculator. So what we'll do, we'll have to, we always divide by the number that is closest to our unknown. In our case this is 10. So we just take the 10 to the other side and it will divide that 16,667. And then that's how we will be able to get our answer. Cheers guys. Then that's how we end it. And then see you next time. I love you all and God bless you.